Hello and welcome to the Thrive video learning series. Today we're going to talk about signing up for ThrivePay. There is some information you'll need to have before we get started. You will need a driver's license or other identification, as well as your social security number or EIN. Note that you will need this information for anyone who owns at least 20% of your business. You will also need your average transaction amount and your annual credit card volume. Note that these can be estimates. For your security, you will not be able to pause and come back to your ThrivePay application. If you don't have these materials available, you will not be able to complete your application. To start, navigate to Sales and then ThrivePay. Next, you will see a page detailing the benefits of signing up for ThrivePay. Click on the Sign Up button to get started. First, we're going to enter some basic information about your business. To start, use the drop down and select a company type that best fits your business. Next, enter your business name as it appears on legal documents. If you use a format such as your name, DBA, and then the name of your business, that name would go here. Next, enter your tax ID number. Enter your business name as you would like it to appear on your client's bank and credit card statements. If your business uses a DBA, enter the name that comes after the letters DBA. Next, enter the phone number and address for your business. Note that this should be the business information and not your personal information, as that will come later. Finally, enter the URL for your website or social media page. When you're ready, click on Next. Next, we'll need a little bit more information about your business. First, use the drop-down to select the year you started your business. Next, enter the average dollar amount for transactions you process and the average annual volume of transactions you would process through credit cards. These numbers can be estimates, but if you're making a guess, make sure to guess on the higher end just to be safe. Having this information helps our ThrivePay team serve you better as a customer. Next, you'll need to select your merchant classification category using the drop-down. Scroll through the available choices and find the one that is the best fit for your business. Next, use the drop-down to select the area where the customers you serve are located. Use local if your customers are primarily in your zip code. Use regional if your customers are located in yours and the surrounding zip codes. And use national if your customers could be from anywhere in the country. When you're ready, click on Next. The Owner Details page will require your personal information. Start with your first and last name as it appears on legal documents. Then enter an email address where you can be reached. Enter a mobile phone number where you can receive text messages. Next enter the professional title that you use and the percent of your stake in the company. Next, enter your social security number, date of birth, and your home address. If you are not the only owner of the business, click on Add Another Owner, and repeat the steps above for every owner with at least 25% stake. Otherwise, click on Next. On this screen, you will accept the terms and conditions for using ThrivePay. To download a full copy of the terms and conditions, click on the link here. Once you're ready, check the box to agree and then click on Sign Up. At this point, your ThrivePay sign up is complete. You will see a success screen indicating that your application was successful. Click on Take Me to ThrivePay to get started using it. There's a chance you'll receive what is called provisional approval. In this situation, we may require additional information from you. In that instance, our ThrivePay team will reach out to you soon to go over what additional information is needed. You will be able to start processing transactions with credit cards right away. 
However, please note that your initial deposit will take seven business days from the date of your first transaction. After you are approved, credit card transactions will have next day deposit and ACH transactions will have a five to seven day deposit turnaround. For right now, you can click on OK, got it. In the event we need additional documentation, ThrivePay will contain an upload portal where you can upload the necessary documents. To do so, navigate to Settings, then click on Identity Verification. Click on Choose File, and you'll be brought to your device's file explorer where you can select the requested documents. If you have additional questions or would like more help, navigate to the Support Center in the bottom left. Here, you will find walkthrough guides, tutorial videos, and helpful articles in the Knowledge Center. You can also click on Contact Us. We are available 24-7 through live chat, or you can call the support number. You also can schedule an appointment with one of our service specialists.